Next, I'd like to uh, demonstrate what happens when we go from a single light globe to two light globes in series. And with two light globes in series, we're going to increase the resistance. We'll start off with this uh, circuit, just a simple series circuit here with just a single light globe in the circuit in series with the amp meter. And uh, the power supply then feeds the uh, current to the circuit. And I've got the uh, voltage turned all the way up. When I turn the power on, we see that we get the full uh, power of the light globe. It's rated at 60 watts and it uh, sends out energy at the rate of 60 joules per second. Uh, we have the full voltage and the full current operated in the light globe. Now when we uh, put the other light globe in the circuit and we move from this circuit to this circuit, let's do that. I'll wire it up uh, here in that fashion. So now we have the two light globes both in the same series circuit. In particular, the two light globes are in series with one another. And resistors in series uh, results in an increased resistance, which we can demonstrate by uh, keeping the voltage at the high level that it was earlier. I turn the power on, and we see that the uh, current is uh, less than it was before, and uh, showing that uh, as we increase the resistance by putting resistors in series, again with the equation, increase the resistance, keeping the same voltage it reduces the current. Notice also that the power is less. We've uh, kept the same voltage, but we've reduced the current to the total circuit, and the power is less. The power is also less in each light globe for another reason, and that is we're splitting the power between the two light globes, so each light globe is significantly less than the single light globe was earlier.